When people think of diseases that are difficult to treat, cancer may first come to mind. But Alzheimer's currently affects millions of Americans and there is not currently a cure. Here with me now to discuss the biopharma companies that are working on treatments for the disease is Salim Syed, a biotech analyst with Mizuho Securities. Thanks for joining us today, Salim. Great, thanks for having me. So we have a number of big pharma companies that have actually abandoned their plans for treatments for Alzheimer's, namely Merck, Eli Lilly, Johnson & Johnson, some heavyweights there. So why do you think it's so difficult to develop a cure for Alzheimer's? I know there are a few treatments on the market for the symptoms, but not a cure. Right. So when you think about Alzheimer's disease, right, this is a neurological disease. Uh, the last drug that was approved for Alzheimer's was back in, or the one that people use today predominantly, is called Aricept. That was back in the 1990s. And over the, over the course of from then to now, we've actually, as a community, have learned a lot about the disease itself and how to design clinical trials. So some of these failures that you're seeing uh, are are actually due to just learning about the disease. Who should we be treating uh, with these with these drugs? Um, and it's also how do we get better, better drugs? Just in, in any in any therapeutic area, it's always about how do you, how do you refine the drugs? That's that's part part of it. Right. So it's a, definitely a big challenge. So uh, which biopharma companies would you say are currently leading the charge in developing uh, these new and and potentially better treatments? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the one that's leading right now is Biogen. So Biogen has a drug called aducanumab. Aducanumab is currently in phase three development. Uh, we should be getting data for that uh, at the end of 2019 or early 2020. Um, after that, um, we will be getting a co um, data from Roche, um, also partnered with AC Immune. Uh, data for that, for their drug called cronezumab, uh, will be about a year or so later. And so clearly all of these trials take a really long time. Um, so when do you think that we'll finally see a successful Alzheimer's treatment, a new treatment on the market? So, so the hope is, the hope, right? It's always a hope with any, with any clinical trial. The hope is, uh, in this particular case, that aducanumab uh, will be that drug right now now the street is probably around 50 percent probability of success that this drug will actually work um, i'm a little bit higher i'm at 70 percent probability of success that this drug will work uh, but many people think that this is the, the the best drug we've seen thus far in development so whether you think it's going to work or not going to work kind of where the street is is that it's 50 percent odds and of the drugs that we've seen this is probably the best shot that we've seen thus far so if the Biogen drug does work, uh, eventually, uh, what percentage of the Biogen portfolio do you think that this drug could eventually take? Um, so, so if this drug works, it's going to be a big deal for Biogen um, as a company and Biogen as a stock. Um, if you're thinking about, if you're thinking about as a stock, uh, what investors are a lot of investors are saying that this, if this thing works, it's going to, it's going to have, you know, hundred, one hundred dollars of upside. I've heard that number, one hundred dollars of upside to the stock. And right now, Biogen's trading at around three hundred dollars per share. Um, and if you're looking at, if you're looking at just Biogen as a company, um, it's obviously transformative uh, because Biogen currently plays in another disease called multiple sclerosis, uh, which many investors view as a stable or slightly declining revenue base, um, this drug would change all of that. All right. Well, the potential there is clearly huge. What are some of the other uh, potential scenarios that could play out here for Biogen other than obviously, you know, potentially soon getting this on the market and it's successful? You, you mentioned, you know, anywhere between 50 to 75 percent on the street saying uh, there's a success rate there. Could we see delays or could Biogen, like these other big companies, uh, abandon this treatment? Or is, or is that way less likely to happen at this point? It's less likely. Um, so the treatments that have been abandoned thus far or recently that we've seen, um, it's for a different type of Alzheimer's drug in development called BASE. Um, this drug works basically along the same, the same biological pathway. 
Um, but it is a different class of Alzheimer's drugs. Uh, so base inhibitors are different than beta amyloid targeting drugs, um, which is what the Biogen drug um, aducanumab is current. That's, that's the class that Biogen's drug is in. So unlikely that Biogen will, will halt its trial um, or, or, or see any issue uh, with that. Uh, we haven't seen anything, um, any, any, any indication that they would do that. Um, in fact, they've actually increased the size of the, the trial itself um, due, to, due to what they call increased variability um, in, in, the, in, in a blinded sample set thus far. But no indication thus far that they are pulling away from that. It's still very much important part to their story. And as you mentioned, a potentially huge impact on the stock. So we'll definitely have to keep watching this space. Thanks so much for your insight, Celine. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, make sure to check out our feature story on biotech companies looking to tackle Alzheimer's on the front page of the IBD Weekly. And the article can also be found at Investors.com with all the latest market news and analysis. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alyssa Corum.